good morning it's november 2nd day six for me today is when things start getting serious um the high that, or this morning it was 51 degrees walking in it's supposed to just drop all throughout the day um, with the low tonight being about 39 as you can probably tell the wind is ripping it says it's 13 miles an hour but it's got to be gusting in the 20s i've had to grab onto the tree stand a few times it's supposed to die a little bit as the morning goes on but logan come in here with me and we're uh, team hunting this little spot here i've got doe bedding to my north i've got lakes behind me to my west and my wind is it's a west wind south southwest west southwest and just straight west seems to be what it's doing it should be good i don't think we're going to sit all day but if we're seeing deer we brought stuff just in case but i'd like to sit till lunchtime or so and then get out and make a game plan for the evening so we're gonna sit here and see i don't have a lot of shots other than just the road right underneath me it's a real skinny ridge so pretty much all the traffic is uh is out the ridge or i'm set up at a crossing point in between the ridges uh in between these two lakes behind me so we'll see hopefully things start picking up for us now uh, really done scouting it's all about seat time now and picking the right place but uh 7 18 uh, we're getting close to shooting light so i'm gonna get quiet maybe we'll get lucky and see something about nine o'clock now I heard a deer and heard a big stick break below me about 15 minutes ago and then about five minutes ago I saw a deer trot back down the hill tail up I don't know how it could have got my wind but maybe just the wind and stuff got a little spooky And then just a couple minutes ago, I saw some turkeys down here below me, so. We at least have a little bit of action going on. I think me being up on top this morning in this wind is a bad call. I think these deer are going to be off the sides a little more. This ridge is so steep on the sides. I didn't really predict that with the worn trail and the sign up, up on the very top. I'm right here at this crossing point in between the lakes. I guess we'll see how it goes. Sit here a couple or three more hours. It's a good place to catch a cruising buck. We got this uh, west wind. Buck could cruise this ridge and, and scent check all those scrapes down here below me and if there's any deer on the other ridge so if we do get to see one good it's going to be up close and personal let's sit tight We're coming up on 11 o'clock here. Nothing really to speak of since I saw that one deer out here. 
it just feels like a day to kill a big buck it's kind of chilly the high is not going to get very high uh, it didn't get very cold last night the wind's up a little bit which i've always seen some bucks in higher wind especially during the rut so i'm going to tear this stand down here in a few minutes and back my first day in Ohio uh, on back at this new place I, I picked up on a buck bed and uh, some uh, some good sign leaving it a good place to pinch down and uh, since I'm already in here I think that's what I'm going to do this evening I'm going to make a play on it I'm trying to uh, give that place I killed my buck last year a little bit of a break we're gonna have a lot of people moving in uh, this is this coming weeks the most popular week for people to come up here and hunt so I think it'll be a good evening so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pack uh, tear my stand down pack it out and uh, I'm gonna hide it and I'm gonna go back to the truck I'm gonna get me something to eat real fast and I'm gonna run back out here That'll, that'll save about a half to six-tenths of a mile walk with that stand loaded down. I'm going to recharge like my GoPro batteries and a few different things. So Who knows? I, I mean, it, it should be a good day. I want to get back in a tree as quick as possible. I think you could see them at any time, but it's hard to grind out hours and hours when you're not seeing much. We're going to start packing it up. Well, it's the afternoon of November 2nd. My day six, I think. And things are just starting to get good. Uh, it's real cool this afternoon, like real cool. Uh, it's probably in the 40s. It was like low 50s this morning, so it's never warmed up all day. The wind is uh, moving pretty good. It's probably at least 10 mile an hour right now. It was real bad this morning. But uh, I come in here to the spot that I found that buck bed and found some good rubs on the exit trails leaving it. The wind set up kind of good for me to uh, get in here and I thought he'd still maybe use it on that wind too because he could scent check the access coming in. And that may be the case, but uh, as usual, it was a complete rodeo trying to get in here. Um, I don't know. Actually, let me check and I'll tell you how far I walked. It was further than I thought it was going to be. Let's see. <laughs> My tracker says 2.2 miles. That's crazy. Well, come to find out, I thought the deer, I didn't realize that, I knew that deer was bedding on this side, I found the beds. But, I didn't realize that there was so much deer sign on the other side. So I, I jumped a deer coming in that had a really big set of tracks. Granted, it was a running track, so it's hard to tell, but I had a feeling that was the deer were in here after, but what can you do? It's been a struggle so far, but if the weather was like this the rest of the trip with a little, little cooler than what it was this morning, we'll be in all right shape, because I'm still kind of just bouncing around hitting these other spots. I wouldn't consider these my best spots or anything. I don't know that I really have a best spot. I'll tell you this, if we do see any deer tonight, it will be up close and personal. I'm expecting them to come from right behind the camera right now. If you see, that's why I'm looking, but 
I had to hang this lone wolf in a super crooked tree. I mean, the base of it's like this. I couldn't even use my lineman's belt. But uh, I got in here really late. It took me a couple hours. It's uh, 4.30 right now. We're set up, ready to go. So let's see if we can uh, sit here for about two and a half hours. Well, that's not quite two and a half. About two hours and ten minutes is about all we'll get. Cross our fingers. We need something good to happen. I don't have much for shots below me. I mean, it's basically this one exit trail is all I'm hunting. I was feeling so good about my access. I circled all the way around. I cut up a holler uh, just to get around that deer, you know, just so he wouldn't be able to get a nose full of me. All that just to jump a deer on this other side. I'm hoping that wasn't him, but there was a lot of fresh deer sign in here, a lot more than I thought. If I get to come back in here again, I'll probably try and set up on that other side. Just got a lot more opportunities. But let's get quiet. It just feels like an afternoon to kill a big buck. It really does. November 2nd. It's in the 40s. High winds. It's, got, it's real cool. Let's get after it. Things just got a little interesting. I could have killed that deer two or three times and had it on film, but I'm so far back in here and I killed that good buck last year. He's just not quite what I'm looking for. Really good, probably three year old deer. And literally the same time I was uh, going to text Logan to tell him I just passed one. He texted me and said that he had a 140 10 pointer coming from behind him feeding. And I guess got his wind or caught his crown sin or something. But I knew it felt like a good big buck evening. I almost bet you that's the deer I jumped. And he was coming back to the bed. No way of knowing, but that's awesome. <laughs> that was worth it, just just to have that opportunity, you know. And, uh, maybe Pope and Young Deer, he was just too borderline. If I looked at him and said 130s, he would have died. The problem is, I looked at him and said 120s. Part of this is cold, but part of it's excitement. I love it. It's uh, 5.45, so we got a solid 30, 45 minutes 
that deer almost busted me. Thank God I've got a lot of cover and a lot of back cover. I heard him walking and I had my camera covered up with a sweatshirt because it's raining. He kind of caught me uncovering that camera because when I got first glimpse of him, I thought he might be a shooter. See, I'm right here at the point of this little lake and I figured there'd be some travel going that way. I wasn't really expecting one to come from that way. I'd say that's the buck that I, I found his bed, but... Maybe we'll see something else. Well, it's all gonna, that's basically gonna wrap it up for me tonight. It's still kind of spitting rain. It's, we're gonna finally have a pretty cold morning in the morning. I got a few minutes left, but I wanted to go ahead and do an interview before it got too dark. As soon as it gets too dark to shoot, I'm gonna get out of this tree quick, pull this set, run right over here, and uh, hang it off of the other side of this point and down off of this little berm here a little more. I could have killed that deer, but I think the majority of the buck travel is going to be 20 to 30 yards off of this edge. All in all, it's a great night of hunting. I'm, uh, I'm glad to finally get some action and see a buck that had me at least considering shooting. It should just get better for here, or from here. But I'm gonna try and get this stand hung as quick as possible, get out of here. I need to uh, get some rest tonight. I'm going to try and maybe do an all-day sit tomorrow. I, there's a good chance I'll be right back here.